Oh, good day. It is time. My name is Dan Otage, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Challenger series. Right here in Escape from Tarkov. Yes, yes, you, you heard it first. It's time to jump right in. Welcome. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope you're all well. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty good here in this neighborhood of, uh, the Dano Cave. It's been, um, it's been a little off schedule for me. I've been getting things done in time, but in a different timetable, it seems. Also, by the way, we are gangster as hell. Do you see this scav? My god. Hey, look, a bandage. A single bandage. I... I don't know where to start with this. Oh, I know where to start here. I love a singular bandage, though. We got a pillbox, which is better than nothing. Um. Okay. See, that's that. That's one thing that I, I I'm. I got silent there because I was thinking about something. Whether or not that was a shotgun or a filing cabinet. I'm pretty sure. That was a shotgun, actually. So. He's already jumping up. Yep. He's already jumping down. How's that guy? That's an AI, okay. Um, that guy was already up there? Wait, hold on. Did I spawn in kind of late? Like, right, pretty much right at 17 minutes, didn't I? Am I spawning in late on these things? There's nothing that says... Uh, your scav rep is gonna get you in earlier, does it? that guy was already up there and down by the time I just walked over across the street. Homie was homie was uh, hiding the OJ before I even got to his house. What the hell, man? I thought we were cool. I thought we were going to share. Whatever, man. You know? Sometimes you think you know, you know someone. Sometimes you think you know your friends and then all of a sudden they're hiding juice from you, man. What's up with that? Keg tape? Yep. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, but that that is that is strange, huh? Okay. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to think about that. We're gonna have to actually look for people before we even get here. Uh that's stuff I don't want. Check the duffel bag. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Um I don't know what we're gonna be able to find. I'm gonna take the battery just because I've got nothing else. Normally wouldn't take the battery at all. It's good to check these. These will have something. Power bank isn't bad. No, not at all. Long and flat. Not great. I hear somebody out here. I think I heard my me ruffling around in there. Shuffling around? Ruffling around? They both work, right? I don't know what that is. It's a weird... Okay. 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 Buffer tubes. Yeah, this is this is bad. It's not looking great. Uh, crack is... Herring, herring. Oh, Yonka is good. Iskrib? Not as much. Alright, let's go check our diving board. And then we're gonna have to... That guy's probably going to the village. So we're probably going to have to double up on and just see if he missed anything. Because, uh, what are... We got to look at our extracts, too. What the heck is that? A boonie hat? Nah. X400, though? Not bad. Um... Okay, what are we... Where are we going? Scab bridge. 
can go Eastern Rocks right behind me, but we're probably going to have to go to Scout Bridge. Because this is not going to make us any money. Um, I was going to start off with Reserve today. That was the plan. However, I had a Taz and no armor. So, likely, there was a chance I was going to run into probably Raiders down below. And I always have a fighting chance against Raiders. But you never know when you're going to have to, like, you know, have to go fisticuffs with some, uh, with some raiders, so a little bit of protection would be nice. Granted, our next scav may not have that, but we might not have a choice. We might have to go there, because our last raid was not great. Our last raid yesterday was just not fantastic, so we're going to have to try to make that up. Um, I guess we can check these guys. The Vepper. Shotgun ammo. What? Did this guy have a top? Oh, he might have had a Saiga. Does this guy have a Saiga? He doesn't. Probably got looted. In fact, we might just have to stick around here for a little bit. Okay, that's where the Vepper's from. I'll just stick that there, I guess. Alright. Uh, we can always check in that house, too. Check this house. The space for the helix. Uh, the kvoss. I'm gonna try to start getting... Collecting and keeping a lot of the, uh... Condensed milk. Because I'd love to get the condensed milk for the, uh, what is it, the item case? I have an item case. I bought it with euros, actually. Even though that's a very expensive way to do it. The thing is, the reason I haven't been hitting these lately is because of time. Time is just not on our side. Oh, there's D fuel, though. That'll work. No AK hanging up on the clothing or the, the coat rack. Uh, nothing in there. Duffel bag gonna have anything in it. It could have nothing. Okay, never mind. There's another one right there. Could have anything. It could be big. It could. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, life could be worse. Did we check this guy? We did not. But. That might be better. Also might be better. We're gonna be Bane again. <laughs> With Raider shadows and shadows and shadow shadows. I was born in the shadows. The shadows of Mordenheimer. It is me, Super Shy Super. I've never known you to be so. No, but no. What is he talking about? It's I'm in a weird mood this morning, everybody. I don't, I don't know. I'm not even gonna begin to explain it because I don't really know. Um, you guys want a dog update? Jed has been uh, Jed has been good. He's been a good. He's been a good boy. Um, he's been recovering pretty well. I'd say. The only thing he's not been wonderful at is... Well, see, here's the thing. Most parents would be proud of how smart their child is, right? I'm more annoyed by how intelligent my dog is. <clears throat> because, well, it's more... He, you know he's at, the, he's at the level that most dogs of his breed are at, which are... They're intelligent, right? 
to the point of you're like, oh, he knows some things. He's he's got some some brains in that skull of his. But, you know, not intelligent enough to like know when to stop like pissing someone off or annoying the crap out of somebody because that eventually is going to be have extreme extremely uh uh diminishing returns, you know? So he's got his little donut on. I showed it on stream uh not that long ago, a couple days ago. And I got it for him because, well, it's comfier than a big plastic cone. He can actually kind of rest his head a little bit. Not, it's not great, you know, it's 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 still a freaking hindrance. It's still something you don't want on your body and on your neck and totally constricting restricting you from being able to move your head fully, right? Nobody wants that. But it's something. It's better than it's better than having like the cone that the uh like I said, the vet gave us. So what he does because as you know, he he got you know, he got cut open, he got some stitches. And what that what that entails is usually Yeah, horsies. Usually that means that uh there's nothing there. I was told by somebody that I missed a chainlet because it was on one of these markings. Aha! It was probably one just like that actually. Uh yeah. So there we go. I got one. Um Anyway, so so what happens and stuff like that, and it happens with people and it happens with anything really, uh, is you have to start growing your skin back because your skin has to start fusing together because well you got cut the frick open. So he's now like a week into recovery and his his skin is growing back. You can see it; it's all nicely scabbed and and it's fusing together. Um, it's actually coming together rather healthily, even though it looks like. It looks like somebody, you, you know how when you sew something together, you don't exactly sew it perfectly in a crease so it looks like there's still a pinch at the top? He's it, it, got a piece of skin that's kind of like that. And hopefully after the stitches come out, it'll sort of blend together as time goes on. But we'll see. Anyway, the skin is coming together and what happens with that when that happens is uh, you get really itchy. Because it's new skin. New skin is itchy. It just is, right? You go from not having anything there to having something there that is that your body's like, oh, this is not... I'm not. We're not used to this. It's a bit foreign. Even though we grew it ourselves, it's still kind of foreign, right? So you get itchy. And he's getting pretty itchy. And we have to keep continue to continually keep telling him, you know, you gotta stop scratching, dude. And so... Between his new skin and him having a cone on, he's been he's been scratching, he's been trying to scratch his uh, his side, which he can pretty much very barely get with his hind legs, right? You know the dogs, how dogs itch like that. Uh, he can very much barely get it, so he's trying that, and we keep having to tell him no, but. Another thing is he keeps scratching, he keeps getting trying to get right below his collar, or his new, his, his donut cone thing. Which, normal, you're like, oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, he's probably itchy under there. It's like, a, it's like having a cast or just something that you just want to get under and start scratching. So, we're like, okay, you can't do that because you're going you're gonna to take off your, your thing because he's done like twice so far. So, we're like, okay, let me take it off for you and just give him a little bit of a scratch session. The thing is, he's learning that if he scratches, we do that, and we're not we're not doing it every time. But he's he's got a he's got a bit of a memory and remembers when he does it, and he remembers that it works. So he's trying to manipulate us. You know, it's hard to tell if he's trying to manipulate us, but I think he's trying to manipulate us because he just keeps scratching after like even a long scratch session, because he thinks we're gonna take it off and scratch it for him, because it gives him a bunch of attention, and he's kind of an attention freak. Even though, I promise you guys, he gets attention all day long. Both of us are home all day long. And we talk to him and, and scratch him all day long. I promise he's a love dog. But he wants more. He's a glutton. <laughs> um, I'm going to go count this up. And uh, we'll see what kind of damage we did. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, not the greatest raid. But it's alright, I guess. I don't know. We gotta deal with this. We're going into reserve. We need to win. 
We need a really big win. We need something to make up for the last, like, two two raids and then the raid before, the, the one before that. And we need, we need a big makeup. So, I'm hoping that this double barrel, this armor, and this backpack will get filled up. Thirty-five grand. Got one of those, one of those. Alright, so... Um... Oh, we're here? Interesting. Sorry, it's very dark. I got like an hour... An hour in game before before it's starting to brighten up. I'm hoping we can take advantage. I don't see anything. The magnet's not bad. Tetris isn't bad. One more computer, I think? Maybe not. Alright, that should be good. The only problem that's going to occur is if I run into Gluhar right now. T scav. Problem is, I don't think many people are in here, so we're more than likely gonna have to deal with raiders here if they exist. I'm sorry, you can't see anything. I can't see much either. Hey, what's up? Scab over there. Scab spotted. Ah, oh, come on, how come he didn't die? I thought it was a scav. I didn't know they spawned up there. But what? All oh, that got absorbed by his armor. I thought I shot him in the head. Dang. That sucks. That sucks. Oh well. That's the way it goes. Oh, dang it. That really is a, that's a big stinker. That would have been probably pretty good. Um, what he sh I don't know what he shot me with. Sounded like 
uh, either an M4 or it was, more, it was probably more like a PP19. Actually, it's probably MP9. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, it's it's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. Um, I'm not going to go into another raid right now because that was raid 58. That means we have two more raids until we're done with the 60 raid challenge, until we're done with the 60 run challenge. The thing is, especially with how many deaths we have, unfortunately, because that's just the way it goes, um, we're more than likely going to be changing it up to... 50 mil in 100 raids within uh w after after the 60 mark episode because i want to count want to count up how, how far we got how close we got because i think we can if we have a really good episode next episode we'll get to 25 uh mil which is you know five mil under which almost gets to the point where if we were to if we were to make our average on the deaths we would have been fine but it's the way it goes man it's the way it goes i can't believe he didn't die Dang it. Oh, well. Well, GG's, everybody. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy enjoy the rest of the episodes. And uh, I'm sorry this is, is going to be a short one. It's not that short. That was a, that was a pretty decent episode, um, all things considered. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please leave a like. And uh, let me, please let me know what you thought about what just happened. I don't think it was BS. But oh, I thought I shot him in the face, man how it goes. All right. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.